Like all these tap, all these tap lands, I can't do all that. Mm -hmm. No. Welcome to the world of precons. <laughs> Yay! We did it. <laughs> we are live in all locations. Woo woo! woo, -woo. Let's go. Did we just have a a, a, a jinx? A ooh, ooh, let's go. <laughs> 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 Let's go. I'm here for it. Uh, okay, yeah, we are we are good and live. I think I think we're we're ready to uh do our little intros. Oh. oh. Yeah, a little, little bit of intros just to uh, introduce ourselves to the chat in the community. Um so, I mean, we'll just set there right now. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so pop this up. All right, uh, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, everyone, welcome to the Tabletop Jocks Live Precon Outlaws, uh, known outlaws at Thunder Junction. Thank you very much. Um, uh, known outlaws at Thunder Junction preview precon battle uh this might be this might very well be the first time you are seeing these decks live because they the deck list just went up um mm -hmm. only mere hours ago so literally yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah we are able to kind of get a first time look at these wonderful super awesome cards hopefully you get to see what each deck is kind of like about and we'll be able to talk a little bit on like oh upgrades that we kind of thought that we would add once we actually get this stuff going um uh, thank you very much, Demir Daddy. Obligatory for the culture. Thank you very much for the $5. Hey, let's go. Um, let's Ooh. go, yes. Very much for the culture. Uh, we are going to dive right into introductions. So first, we will start off with uh, Chloe Queerphyrexia. Oh. Just tell us who you oh, are, uh, where to find you in the Magic the Gathering community. Uh, and then if you could possibly read off what your commander does for us after that. For sure. Uh, hi, I'm Chloe Queerphyrexia. I have audio on on Twitch, sorry. Um, <laughs> I am a YouTube creator. I make uh, commander, I make dual commander content, and I'm a member of the lovely Birds of Paradise, which is a group of individuals who seeks to uh, widen the space for marginalized people within this community. And yeah, uh, this commander is Olivia Opalent Outlaw. She has flying and lifelink. Whenever one or more creature outlaws you control deal damage to a player, create a treasure token. I can pay three, sacrifice two treasures, put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control as a sorcery. She is a three three, and I'm very excited for Olivia to be back. Uh, yeah. Yes, being able to see these uh, these characters in their brand new uh, yes. cowboy hats is um, yes, <laughs> uh, definitely <laughs> seems to be like Magic's uh, main thing right now. And yeah, we get to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna see what. Olivia and the outlaw mechanic is up to. Outlaws, remember, are assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, quite the eclectic mix of, uh, of creatures over yeah. here. Um, I'm a scum and villainy, if you will. Yes, very much so. <laughs> and part of our hive of scum and villainy, let's go to our next guest. We have Dark Pack Cosplay. Hi. Hello. I'm Dark Pack Cosplay, MTG Ambassador and Professional Cosplayer. Um, you can find me all over the internet as Dark Pack Cosplay, causing by panic on all levels of the internet. Um, <laughs> today I'm playing Gonti, uh, Canny Acqu Acquisitor. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. Um, so this is a I'm going to steal your stuff sort of situation with this guy. So uh, spells I cast but don't own cost one less to cast. And whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, I look at the top card of that player's library, then exile that card face down. I may play that card for as long as it remains exiled and mana of any type can be used to used to cast that spell it's a five five as well so we're going to be going around stealing stuff normally that would kind of suck in a online um game but i have the other three decks next to me in preparation so i can just pull out the cards <laughs> <laughs> but this very, is the first time i'm playing good. like a steal things deck so i'm excited to give it a try it'll be a, a good old time yeah, it's definitely very interesting with the pre-cons. I think this is kind of like the first... No, maybe it had, like, Nagatharad uh, in terms of, like, steal your things coming out of the yeah. pre-cons. 
Uh, but for this situation, uh, just because we're all, you know, just playing online, we're just going to reveal the cards and yeah, explain them out to easiest. everyone when uh, when that does happen. So we don't really care mm -hmm. if we see the card or not. It is whatever. Um, yeah, it should be hidden information, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also uh, and, do some reveal information to all the mm -hmm. players. Exactly right. You as the yes. player, if you know what the card is, you have I am to tell people things. Yeah, exactly. As a blanket choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, next guest over here, hi, Kurotsuki. I am your host for tonight. We, I am playing, oh, well, you can find me online on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all of those wonderful places under Kurohitsuki. Uh, I am playing Stella Lee, wild card. I have been playing this Is It Batty uh, for quite a couple uh, games. I am uh, kind of in love. Uh, she <laughs> is uh, just really cool. Love the Is It mechanic. So what she is, uh, three mana, two, four, Legendary Human Rogue. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, exile the top card of your library until the, the end of your next turn. You may play that card. And she can tap target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Activate only if you've cast three or more spells this turn. So um, definitely looking for that, like, is it spell slinger theme? Um, and <laughs> keeping track of, like, when a card is cast, if it's like the first, second, or third, or more, uh, it's definitely a little bit of the the what they're doing in Thunder Junction right now. And you know, I I love keeping track of stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna see if the the is it sling, spell singers can get there. Uh, and then on to our, our our main benefactor here, the the known, <laughs> the known as a known the known outlaws. quantity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Joe Johnson, <laughs> a.k.a. Black Needle, please do introduce yourself, friend. Well, thank you. Thank you, partner. Uh, <laughs> kicks in the saloon doors. Uh, kiss my hat. <laughs> How? Uh, <laughs> what's going <laughs> on, y'all? It's your boy, Joe Johnson, a.k.a. Black Needle, a.k.a. Bushido Brown, a.k.a. Known Outlaw. And today I will be playing um, Yuma, Proud Protector. It kind of, the, the vibes remind me of very Mandalorian uh, in, the, in the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this spell costs one less to be cast for each land card in your graveyard. It's a 6-6. Six, six, uh, whenever Yuma, Prowl Protector, enters the battlefield or attacks, you may sacrifice a land if you do draw a card. And then whenever a desert card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, from anywhere, uh, create a 4-2 green plant warrior creature token with reach. So he costs eight to come out, but there's, uh, there's some strategies. I mean, there's a lot of ramp in here. Uh, and, 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 yeah. and the whole thing is just the uh, do Naya stuff. Get get big plants and and you know cactuses and all that kind of stuff to come out and fight for you because we're in the desert. Pew pew. Yes, yes, we are the the most deserty plane other than I guess Amonkhet that we've uh, ever been on. And True. yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna meet at sundown and get this party started. Uh, thank you very much again, everyone, for being here. We really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Um, and, yeah, let's just start shuffling up these decks and get going. Um, Joe, if you could uh, shuffle up the player order, and then oh, we'll sure. just kind of uh, go whoever is in there. So, yep, yep. yeah, however many times I'll we want to shuffle. Four times, mm -hmm. so uh, one. Four times, two, four outlaws. Yeah, three <laughs> and four. Wow, that Look, you pay, sometimes <laughs> you pay for the app and, and it and it, it works out. Yeah. <laughs> All I right. See how it okay. Is. Yeah, we see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> the luck of the draw, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Dark Pack, just be sure to add your commander to the oh yeah um, thing, and then we'll just draw our opening hand and then be ready to go. Well, I'm good on up. my hand. If you have any I'm questions about the decks well. that you're seeing, please do uh, you know. Feel free to ask us because we some of us have played them a couple times, um, and you know we we got our opinions on them, but they're going to be quite fun. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, as soon as we have a decent opening seven, we can begin. Uh, seven. You know what? Oh, okay. Well, that is a one lander, so we can't really no, <laughs> can't yeah. necessarily no, that. No, 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 none of that. Yeah. But New. there was a soul New. ring. Oh, you have one I'll draw into the lands. I'll draw into it. I swear. <laughs> uh, 
that's such a horror. The land's like, always on top. That's so. That's so like tempting too. You're like, ah, oh, man, I'll get there, and then you draw like eight lands of the roar. Oh, exactly. you got any soul that's rings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can keep this hand for sure. Let's go. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, partners. Uh, let's do this. Ten paces gonna, back, everybody. Ten paces back. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turn and fire. Um, all right, we're going to draw for our first turn. We're going to play a tapped land. Uh, when it enters the battlefield... Oh, wait, no, it's not tapped. I just assumed it was tapped because it was looking weird and i never seen it before. Uh, <laughs> uh, Fair assumption. And, and, and we're also <laughs> playing pre-con, so I just assume anything that's cool comes in tapped. Uh... <laughs> This is actually when it when it enters the battlefield, surveil one. Uh, so mm. top card of my library and put it into the graveyard. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that on top. Um, <laughs> I can add one mana of any color uh, if I pay one into it. So it kind of filters for whatever. So yeah, after that, I will pass the turn. Okay, I'll draw this card. Um, I'm going to play a swamp and... I'll play the first creature of the game. It's Changeling Outcast. You know, Ooh. that one. Uh, that is definitely a uh, mercenary or outlaw, whatever you want to call it. I'll pass the turn. I'll choose Warlock. Yeah, <laughs> the, it's a Warlock. It's fine. Versatile. Right, and that is me. On mm -hmm. top keep draw. I'm going to play a Cascade Bluffs and then pass the turn from there. All right. We'll draw a card here. Um, let's just throw down a command tower, and I'll pass right after that. All right, that was pretty wholesome. Like I'm, I'm not gonna throw it. Like that was, that was still pretty wholesome. very wholesome I'm not, magic. I'm That'll change it. quick, uh -huh. but <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna lay a planes down and uh, pass the turn. All right, I'll untap and draw. Okay, yeah. Here's a uh, demolition field. And I will tap two for an arcane signet. Nice. Ooh, um, all right. Oh, 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 um, you're gonna steal my stuff, Dark Pack. I don't, I don't, <laughs> you can take the first damage. I don't, I, that's my stuff. Well, now that you hit me first, I'm definitely taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Crimes have been committed. They sure have. All right. So if you draw, I am going to play an island. And I'm going to put a uh, rousing refrain on suspend three. Ooh. Uh, mm -hmm. And then Very I will cool. pass the turn after that. What does it do once it's off suspend? Um, so I add a red for each card and target opponent's hand until end of turn. I don't lose that mana. I steps in phases end and then I exile it with three time counters on it. So it's going to keep on coming back. Oh. That's yeah. crazy. That card is so good. It is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was about to make fun of it. <laughs> like it was Jessica's will at home or something, but it's actually it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'll draw a card here. Um, we'll put down an island, and we're gonna tap two. We're gonna rampant growth. I'm gonna fo oh, go find cool. myself probably a uh, forest, and then I'll pass after that. Yeah, we'll just get a forest. Right. Uh, I will draw. And okay, this one comes in tap, so I will play this. Uh, as there is a battlefield, uh, I choose a color, I will choose green, and then I can add mm -hmm. one of uh, the chosen color. It's kind of cool, a little color fixing. Mm -hmm. And again, I will pass the turn. Okay. My commander costs eight. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. is, does it really? Oh my, yeah. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a lot of mana. <laughs> Um, uh, Joe, we have uh, someone in chat asking if the uh, playmats, the DVZ playmats, are uh, sale okay. on sale anywhere. Yeah, they sure are. Uh, uh, here's, uh, a, here's a Wander's Enclave. No, okay. uh, jank, jank mats. Uh, it'll be in literally any of the my link trees, all across all social medias, mm -hmm. um, everywhere. It's also in the in the YouTube bios. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Awesome. All right, um, I'm gonna go to combat, uh, Kuro. Yes, lovely, lovely man. It, here's the damage. Ah, oh, I see. It's your okay, turn. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Um, <laughs> love that. And then I love think that. I would. I think I would like to trade up my changeling outcast. So I'm gonna pay two and oh. deadly dispute. Ooh. I'm gonna draw two and make two treasure. Make a treasure. So there's two. Uh, here's a treasure. Let me look at these cards. What do we have here? 
Okay, and then I think I'm good there. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna remind right. chat y'all need to throw in that combo with Carter while y'all are watching this game. Just mm-hmm. saying. <laughs> <laughs> Got one suspend down. I am going to play this mountain. And you know, I think I'm just gonna come on out there with Stella Lee wild card. <laughs> My mm-hmm. my old commander here, uh, and then I will pass the turn after that. Alrighty, and tap and draw. Um, on a swamp for land for turn here, and then fun little reprint here. I'm gonna tap three for Edric, Spy Master of Press. Oh, nice. That is a good reprint. It is. So whenever creature deals combat damage to one of my opponents, its controller draws a card. It's a 2-2. Two, two. So getting a little drawing action for you all. Um, I'll pass after that. Go right ahead, Joe. It's almost like, don't hit me! <laughs> yes, <my> don't! <laughs> Please! <laughs> love God. You like cards, right? You love those things. You love uh, drawing uh, cards! Don't touch me! Revenant <laughs> <laughs> Ruins, and I'm going to tap for a for, uh, new card, uh, Map the Frontier. Uh, so basically, it's, you know, uh, search my library for the two basic land cards and or deserts Ooh, and put them onto the okay. battlefield. Wrapped. So a little Very ramp, cool. little ramp. Uh, I'm going to go oh, ahead the, and do that. The obligatory cultivate, it seems. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> obligatory cultivate that's able to get deserts. So uh, we love right. it. Right. Yeah. We I'm do. Gonna we do. Do. Deserts. Uh, Anything after that, Joe? No, okay, I'm going to yeah. go ahead and just find some stuff and pay an ass. Okay. All right. I'm going to draw this card for turn um well doesn't seem like i'm gonna do very much this turn because i think i'm just gonna tap two and activate my demo field um Whoa. what is that non-basic land you have there dear uh oh, that's oh. gonna be my cascade bluffs Ooh. ah filtering and an is it deck you don't need that you can go find a basic Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course, I will also find a basic land. Okay, well, as long as you also get a basic land, I guess I can't be too bad. <laughs> I love Demolition you know, Field. I put that in a lot of decks yeah. now. <laughs> it's I just so put funny. it in a lot of my decks. It's so good. Yeah. Um, I think after I get this planes, it comes in tapped, right? No, it just cut onto the battlefield. Very cool. Wow. And I do have a follow up play. <gasps> oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to tap for, for three, cracking my treasure for red and the uh, Arcane Signet for black. Um, I'm going to play a new card, Vihan, Gold, oh, no. White, Gold Waker. Um, other outlaws you control have vigilance and haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may have. Treasures you control become three three construct artifact tokens in addition artifact creatures in addition to their other types until end of turn. Beat that. So this is the uh that's the secondary commander of the set. Yes. So yes. correct. Um, correct. Mm-hmm. Very I good. Will pass my turn after casting this warlock. Yeah. All right. True treasure commander right there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We'll keep draw. Yeah, I don't need filter lands. Filter lands are lame anyway. <laughs> uh, actually going to go for something a little spicy here. Um, spice already? I know. We want to see the spice. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go for a brand new card. Oh. Smoldering Stagecoach. Um, it is an artifact vehicle. Uh, its power is equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards in my graveyard. Whenever it attacks, the next instant or sorcery uh, I cast this... Sorry, the next instant spell and the next sorcery spell I cast this turn will each have Cascade. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, pretty <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, I will pass the turn after... That's not a weak that. card it's... by any means. <laughs> no, it is not. No, that's a pretty... Strong old time over there, jeez. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spicy. Um, we'll play an island for land for turn. Then we're gonna tap five for Oran Frostfang. Another Ooh. fun reprint here. Mm-hmm. So attacking creatures I control have death touch. And whenever a creature mm-hmm. I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. If you attack a player right now, obviously this is an opponent. You draw two cards? Yes, yes. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and take That's... that damage. 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna send my Edric Spymaster of Tress over to Kuro, actually. So that is a two-two with Death Touch oh, coming your way. I will Kuro. be taking two. All, All right. right. I'll, I'll be drawing two cards. Wow, that's that value. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Boom, oh, yeah. boom, boom. They, they, they really don't mess around when they make these things anymore. <laughs> they really don't. I'm gonna pass to you after that, Joe. <laughs> All right. Cool. We will untap and draw and uh, not a tap lane. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of ramp. So let's let's ramp again. Uh, we're gonna play this Oracle of Moldiah reprint. Um, Y'all know what it does. You can play an additional mm -hmm. land for a turn, reveal the top card revealed. Uh, it is revealing a, a nesting dragon, which is also a reprint. Uh, mm -hmm. Landfall triggers, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I get to play an additional land. So I haven't played a land for turn, so I'm going to play a Plains for my first land. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to play this uh, Hash, Hash Sheep Oasis. Uh, I can pay a life and make a, make a green. I can pay one and two green and then sacrifice a desert. Doesn't have to be this one. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Activate no one's a sorcery, so no combat Ooh, tricks. Very cool. Uh, all right. Yeah, and I'm gonna tap three or four, excuse me. Uh, and I'm gonna play this scare tiller, which is very cool. Ooh, scare tiller, very cool. Yeah. Um, is this a reframe? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, so yeah. another reframe, mm -hmm. um, but still very effective in this deck. Uh, mm -hmm. Whenever it becomes tapped. I get a land back uh, from my hand right. onto the battlefield, tapped, but or I can get a land from my graveyard into the battlefield. So that's that's pretty really good. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we will pass the turn. Okay. So, untap and draw. Um, okay, yeah. Um, let's go for three. For Charred Grave Robber, um, when it ETBs, mm -hmm. I'm going to return target Outlaw card from my graveyard to my hand, choosing Changeling Outcast. Ooh, nice. And it has Escape, Exile, uh, four other cards from your graveyard, three Black Black, and Charred Grave Robber, Grave Robber escapes with a plus one, plus one counter. Um, then I'll just use that Black to recast the Changeling. Um, wow. Uh, nice, nice, I think nice. I'd like to start getting some treasures. And since uh, Vihan is here, my changeling outcast has haste and can't be blocked due to itself. Right. So, Joe, I believe the changeling outcast would like to come say hello to you. Oh, it has some I, vigilance too. I, um, I will that take that damage, damage and you get to draw a I card. I see. I do get to draw a card. Seven, seven cards in hand. I'll pass the turn. All right, we got some spells Ooh, yeah. about to happen right. here. So yeah, untap. I'm a scared of your turn. Upkeep. <laughs> uh, what spells do people have? Or sorry, how many cards and hands do people have? I have three cards. I have six. I have seven. I have seven. Seven. Okay. Well, babe, thank you. I'm going to oh. browsing your frame, targeting you. I will have oh. a seven. I'm gonna have seven mana, and. Oh, uh, no. Put that right there. Cascade I'm gonna well. seven red mana, and the next spell I cast does indeed have a cascade, which is uh, I'm scared. <laughs> no, it'll be great, it'll be great. Uh, I've also cast uh, one spell per turn, you know, if that matters at all. This goes back on suspend, uh, and then I will draw per turn. Um, okay, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's, you know, we're going to go all the way down to one red left, and oh. we're going to play Arcane Bombardment. Oh. What is uh, that? Very good an enchantment. Reprint. Yeah. An enchantment that says, whenever you cast your first instant sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant sorcery card at random from your graveyard, then copy each card exiled with arcane bombardment i may cast any number of those copies without paying their mana costs good luck <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah that is yeah. my second spell per yeah. turn i will exile the top card uh cool i'm just gonna play that island right now um i will then tap uh one two three 
And this is a pre-con, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, no we were worried anything. about these games taking too long. I don't know if that's going to be the case. <laughs> Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to cast Murmuring Mystic. God. Uh, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, uh, I get a one-one blue bird illusion thing with flying because that's really oh, cool. Oh no! Uh, the, the synergy. That is the third spell per turn, and then I'm going to cast. It's just a little guy. An opt. The Ooh. first oh. instant or sorcery <laughs> this entire. Uh, this entire game. Last setup. Uh, Last setup. Yeah. No reason to give a cascade. Um, so mm -hmm. cast. So arcane of Marma just kind of like doesn't trigger right now, but yeah. I will activate my commander to mm -hmm. since this is the uh, third or higher spell cast this turn. I am going mm -hmm. to double this opt. So there mm -hmm. will be two ops going on. The first one will be scry, draw. And the second one, scry, put that to the bottom, and draw. Okay. That's in the graveyard. Smoldering Stagecoach is a 1-5. And I do get one burb, um, burb. From, from this stuff here. I'll figure out that token in a second. Um, but yeah, that is going to be my turn because everything else is big and scary oof yeah all right let's see what i can do about that huh Nothing. Um, don't worry about it mm -hmm. <laughs> i'll put so down a do drone catacomb I can, I can do something on my turn potentially <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, all right. Maybe. Good to know. Good to know. More threat than anything else. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. I love a good threat, though. It's a fun time. Mm. Um, okay. We are going to move to combat. Uh, Kuro, I'm Hi. sending both my Frostfang and the Spy Master your way. So a total of four with death both with death touch. Um, okie dokie. I don't like that at all, but you know, we are just kind of out here. Um, I will block the... Actually, I'll just take both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so then... Yes, so that was two triggers, so I draw four... Christ. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, that's a pretty good time. That's yeah, a pretty you know, good time. I think you're doing all right. It's not bad. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm over here complaining. I'm drawing four cards. Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, second main, I am going to tap two for a thieving varmint. So it's a 2-1 with Death Touch and Life Link. I can tap it, pay one life, and add two mana of any one color. I can spend this mana only to cast spells that I do not own. Mm. And then I yeah, will... Really no, all good. Um, I will also tap another three for... Uh, Trigon Predator. It's a 2-3 flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. No. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. But enchantment, too, so I think I'm yeah. there right now. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll pass you, Joe. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Uh, wow, everybody has some really explosive turns. Let's see if I can match that. Uh, I do have to play with the first card revealed. Uh, which is a Return to the Wild Speaker, another reprint. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I can do some funny stuff. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I normally in this position, I would want to cast my commander because he called hate, but I, I think I got a, another plan. I think I'm going to tap oh. out, and I think mm -hmm. I'm going to play this Genesis Hydra for six. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that is a so, very good play. Yeah, when you cast, uh, reveal the top X cards of your library. You may put um, a non card with mana value X or less from, from among them onto the battlefield. Uh, then shuffle the rest of your library. So uh, it also comes in with six counters. I'll give me a crazy thing. So one, mm. two, three, four, 
five, six. Did I strike out? I did. I did yeah. strike out. Wow. Um, okay. I Recon. thought that was be, <laughs> Yeah, that would have been that would have been nuts in an uh, 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 upgraded deck. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just get this Arcane Signet. Uh, I put the rest of this on the bottom. Is it Shuffle another side? Oof. Shuffle the rest of your library. Okay, cool. So these go in my graveyard. Where do they go? Library. Oh, from one. Okay, cool. So I shuffle. Mm -hmm. So I shuffle. Do, 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 do. I'll just. Dark Pack, what's the card to the left of the Trigon Predator there? Uh, that is a Thieving Varmint, so it's a Death Touch Lifelinker, and it has a uh, tap, pay one life, and you can add two mana of any one color, and can spend this only to cast spells you don't own, and it's a 2-1 as well. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, any, any cute? Any cute? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. Definitely definitely gross art, for sure. I love creature oh, type for sure. Varmint. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I got... I didn't make a land drop this turn, but I did get an arcane signet, so that's a thing. Uh, I kind of whiffed on my turn, so I'm going to embarrassingly just pass the turn. I'm not even going to try. Uh, <laughs> I got a 6-6. Six, six. Untap and draw. Uh, that's not what we wanted to hit, quite unfortunately. Um, so I think I would like to draw another, car another card. Changeling Outcast is a Vigilance. I have to remember that. And it's... Uh, Gonna go down to see Kuro again. Ah, ah, uh, yes, of For course. Another unblockable damage. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, of mm -hmm. course, yes, yes, yes. I love this. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you don't love this? Yeah. And you deserve uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Well, um, How dare I you play this to, game well? Um, Honestly, well, I didn't draw what I wanted to, which is quite unfortunate. Um, so we're also missing a land drop. Uh, mm. ooh. and just get treasures, easy peasy. Yeah, yeah, I could just cast my commander, but I could also commit a crime. Ooh, okay. Crimes are funny. So I, think I would like to feed the swarm the oh. reward. Yeah. No, I never even got to use it once. The, take six. Yes. Though, yeah, yeah, but take six. six is five, right? So, uh, six, six actually. Yeah. Oof. That's a big yeah. hit. Yeah, but that's worth it. That's gonna oh, be. Wow. That was gonna be. I was be gonna really get scary. what an opt out of yeah. the graveyard. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it was gonna be very scary later. No. Yeah. Hard pass. Hard pass. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have to go to um, cleanup step. As a matter of fact. Um, Tragic. So, indeed, I'm gonna pitch this Grinzo. I believe. Mm -hmm. Havoc Razor and pass the turn. Dang, pitch and grab. Okay. Woof. All right. Well, suspend with that out of the way. Untap, upkeep, draw. All right. Let's, um. Hmm. You're only doing so much today. I think, you know, babe, because you were so kind as to get rid of my arcane bombardment. Uh, which was quite rude. Um, well, I, th I thought it was quite nice of me, actually. Oh, really? Oh, that's so strange. Um, it's weird how that works. That's really weird. Uh, you know, I think... What are we going to do here? I'm first of all going to... I'm going to crew the Smoldering Stagecoach. It is but a one five. Just getting started. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Dark Pack, do you, what's the power, combined power in your field? Um, so that would be a total of four. One of them has Death Touch and Life Link, though. That is gross. What's the toughness of the Death Touch Life Link one now? Uh, 2 1. 2 1. Just Listen, a I'm, I'm not above throwing my my little varmint in front of me to save my <laughs> life and also to your big thing over there. Oh, what's it take two damage? Come now. Um, <laughs> Chloe, what's the power on your field? So I got a 3-1, a 3-3, three, three, and a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Well, you know, uh, we just gotta just gotta do it. I will swing the Smoldering Stagecoach over at Dark Pact for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. For now, it's for one, you know? It's for one? Anything. 
for currently actually yeah oh yeah it gets good, right? yeah i will uh block with my death touch life linker okay that is fair um i will die and i will gain two life mm -hmm. all right so the next instance the next sorcery and instant spell I cast has a uh, cascade, which is wild. Oh. Um, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Very... Let's go, you know, if we're going to be wacky about it, let's just be wacky. I'm going to overload Vandal Blast. Oh, I just got this. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah. arcane signal. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. You're a red source, babe. Wow. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Talk about crimes. Mm -hmm. This is crimes yeah. against humanity uh, right here. How dare you touch people's yeah, rocks? I'm a, I'm a uh, but first, uh, <laughs> I, have to do, I actually have to do the cascade first. So, uh, mm -hmm. first is going to be Not Vandal true. Blast uh, at the five cost. So, one. I don't need to count. Jesus. Okay. Woo. That's going to be awful. So that's one cascade into an is it signato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you get to have that, artifacts that we don't. Uh, yeah, yes. right? <laughs> and then you that call is, me rude. So is it signet uh, gets cast. That is the second spell I'm casting this turn. Mm -hmm. So I will exile the top card. Okay, cool. So the uh, is it signet, then Vandal Blast hits everyone's artifacts. Mm -hmm. I will then um, play. This land from exile. I also have a second bird. Um, and you know, with that out of the way, I think I will just pass the turn. I had a, a red floating from that. If you're gonna take my stuff, I'm gonna take your stuff. I'm gonna cast this new card, uh, Unholy Heat. Uh, it does uh, instant speed. Uh, deals one. Deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, if I have Delirium, which I do now, um, when this goes graveyard, it deals six damage. Uh, okay. But I'm still going to kill one of those, the unblocked bird or the untapped bird. The untapped bird. Okay. All right. That bird is roasted. I just threw a coin and like flipped the coin and like flipped it up and tore the bird and then shot the coin and hit That's the bird. Right. It just went right through it. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Gnarly Quick in the day. Stuff. <laughs> okay, put down forest for land for turn here. Oh boy, what direction we want to go here? Um, I guess we should probably get my commander out. Yeah, we'll tap five to get Gonti, Canny, Acquisitor out. Oh boy. So whenever one or more of my creatures deal combat damage, I look at the top card of that player's library and exile it, and I can cast it. Uh, as long as it remains exiled and use mana of any of any color to cast it. Um, cool. Uh, it's looking at life tolls here. I don't, I don't think Joe, anyone, you got a lot. You got a lot of life over there. I man. do have a lot, and I don't want to block you. So come on with it. <laughs> I, although I mean, I could, I could block the snack. The snack. I could block, but I, oh wait, you can get over. Never mind. Yeah, I'm probably just I gonna send my flyer your way. Yeah, so I that's can, uh. That. Yep, two in the air coming your way. I will take two. All right, and then we will exile the top card of your library. Oh no, it's my angel. Uh, it's a five, <laughs> five, six, oh, seven cost. Uh, yeah. Five, seven, when it enters the battlefield, exile up to two artifacts and or enchantments. Yes, very familiar with her. Let me see that. Um, let me see if there's anything else I want to do actually before my turn ends. I do have two mana um no but we will go to cleanup because i have a crap ton of cards in hand jesus um we're going to get rid of uh culling ritual really and... whoa i guess I did yeah the artifact. i mean yeah you get like two right now uh, even yeah if that, oh what like yeah like oh, no, three. oh yeah yeah i mean yeah, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll get rid of the fallen shinobi as well too. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wait, is that a new card? Shinobi. No, yeah. it's a reprint, I think. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, that'll be it for me. You can go right ahead too. All right. So you got. I feel like reanimation and shenanigans are gonna happen. So I'm still afraid. Uh, this is. <laughs> I mean, it is a salt eye duck, so don't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody's casting their commander, so I'm just gonna follow suit. I don't have any uh, lands in the graveyard, so he costs a full eight. But he's coming out. Yuma. Uh, so when he enters the battlefield, 
um or attacks i sacrifice a land if i do draw a card and then whenever a desert is put into the graveyard i make it four two with uh reach uh so i will sacrifice <laughs> this cash at oasis uh and i'll draw a card and i'll make a four two and i'll reveal that in a second and uh yeah still not a land uh does my deck hate me what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> they're all on the field right now no but, but i got some i got some big i got some big players in the in the field so i mean four two with reach stops with reach is, is a lot yeah. um <laughs> i would say in. so and uh i got a i got this six six over here uh i'm not gonna switch you curl i i feel like you've been getting the beat down instead uh <laughs> i've been i've been a little hurt You've been a little hurt. You, you, yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little damaging. Just a little. Um, so it's a two six. You got a two six, but I'll swing someone else. I can block potentially, mm. or I could get a card. You know, Chloe, you did swing at me earlier to get card advantage. <laughs> I so kind of did, huh? I'm gonna go I'm ahead and the incentives the I'm creating right now. <laughs> a little six six coming at you. Just a little yeah, six. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna take six. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's wow. fine. That's fine. All right, I did not expect uh, that. I'll live somehow. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get rid of a creature. Um, all right, well that that changes things. Uh, so I will draw a card from the. Uh... I said, nah, I'll win. <laughs> oh, and then still. I'm in Mardu. What else is not, new? That's <laughs> true. But another new card. I will figure that out in a minute. But anyway, I passed turn. Uh, here you go. Okay, land. This is a land. It's not a land. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Yikes. Um to to the combat we go. Um Joe, you just hit me for six. I'm yep, gonna yep. hit you for like one it. unblockable. I'm like it. <laughs> I'm gonna drop so the card. One treasure. Uh there you go. Hey, let's go. You, you so, gotta get Olivia out now. I don't know what that, like that's, that's that's exactly what I'm doing. Do it for the content. Yeah. Do it for the content. <laughs> there's just no knowing what's gonna happen to any she, of those lands. She has to be here now. Yeah. 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 She's got to be here. Um, and she unfortunately misses the combat damage trigger, which is sad. Mm -hmm. It be would be. No, but, I'm at eight cards again. How? One, two, three. Uh, I guess I have to discard yeah. again. Um, I'm going to discard a Missed Fortune Teller. And I right. will ship the turn over. All right. Untap, upkeep. Going to the one on that. Uh, draw. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. Do we have instants and sorcerers to cast? Not. Not as many as I would like. Like, um, let's do one, two for a goblin electromancer. Nice. Um, and then let's do one, two, three. Oh, Lord, it's coming. Four. Nah, don't it's worry coming. about it. It's a storm kiln artist. Ooh, I mean, that's still really good. That is yeah. great card. What do you mean? It's an amazing card. It's fine. It's just a boy. It's just a <laughs> it's just a card. Um, I will then exile the top card. A bloodthirsty adversary. Not what I want right now. Um, however, I will then play an island. And, you know, I actually don't have a uh, instant sorcery to play right now. So we are going to... Wes. Oh, right. maybe oh, I could draw one, right? I'll yeah. take this bird, and I'll swing one at Joe. Oh, I got this reach over here. I will. Oh, I you will do, oh, that's right. No, you do. You do that four two, and Chloe has a three three with a uh, life link. So life I link, suppose yeah. I shan't I shan't be drawing any cards this turn. Um, I'll be real with you. I don't have any flyers, so you you could hit me if you. Uh, you won't, you won't I don't draw. draw a card oh wait, no, it's only for opponents. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, yep. uh. Chance to be doing that. I will then pass the turn. That is like Love effectively a ghostly me. prison, if you will. In a way, yeah. In it's way, it's better than ghostly it's prison. Way better. It's like killing people are more dude. frivolous with their mana. You tell them they can draw, they start frothing at the mouth. True. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till I cast Brina. 
<laughs> oh, God. Somewhere. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yes. That would be so good for you. All right. We're going to tap um, four for uh, Kazor, Ruthless Stalker. Fun little reprint. It has partner with Ukima, Stalking Shadow. I wonder if that's in the deck. It should be uh, in the deck. Ukima's yes. in this yes, deck? Are you I think so. It's, it's in the deck, yeah. Yeah, it had to be. I mean, why would you only give us one of the, the partners here? That would be so, so weird. The most important part, though, is whenever a creature I control deals combat damage, it gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So good. there's a lot of really good synergy going on here. Mm -hmm. I'm loving all the combat matters stuff. There mm -hmm. we go. Mm -hmm. I'll put her into my hand. Very cool. All right, then we got to make some con some swingy swingy decisions here. Hmm. <sighs> All right. How big's your commando, Kuro? A 2-4. Two 2-4. Four. Two four. Okay. And Joe, your big Hydra's not down right now, well, right? Also, but I'm, my commander's also a 6-6. Six, six. Ooh. Ow. And, Ow. and the 4-2 um, <laughs> to oh. reach, you know. Eat like that. I got a uh, 12 power here. Chilling. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait, not 12 power. Oh, 10 power. Okay, wait, no. All right. 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, I can count. Ah. <laughs> I got I to gotta make some choices here. Jeez. Um, okay. What we're going to do is. Yeah, the recon. I guess I have a flyer. But you have a reacher over there. Uh, yeah, I should I should probably go for that. Or maybe I no. Yeah, yeah, I should probably go for that. Okay. I am going to send my two three flyer tri trigon over at you, Joe, and it has death touch as well too. That's true. Um, hmm. Decisions. Take two, or do you get to blow up a thing of not of mine because I don't have any? Or no, yeah, yeah I wouldn't be yeah, blowing up anything any... of yours. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll take two to for the greater good. Okay. Um, I will draw two off of that, and it'll get a one one counter as well. Two, I'll have to grab some dice in a minute here, but that's fine. Um, oh, that's fun. Oh, that's really, really fun. Yeah. That's what we love to hear from blue players. We, yeah, we love we love to hear <laughs> fun. We're gonna. Oh, and we I have to exile your top card too. Joe, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that new <laughs> card. Okay, That's so what is that new card? card Joe? So, uh, six mana. Return up to three land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, tapped, and then create that many four two green plant warrior creatures with reach and ask flashback for eight. Wow. Jesus, how much mana is that? Very cool. Uh, the flashback is eight. Jeez. What's six uh, original cost? Uh, original cost is six. Okay, okay. So what was the name four. of the card again? Uh, it's called. I didn't say that. Oops. Uh, vengeful oh, regrowth. Vengeful regrowth. There we go. Got it. Boom. Oh, that's cool. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just got them all right here. <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> um, second main. I'm gonna go ahead and tap three for cold eyed selkie. Oh, the selkie. reprint here. It has Island Walk, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I may draw that many cards. Old Eye Selkie. What a wonderful card. It is. It's very overprinted, but very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can go right ahead, Joe. All right. Let's see if we can draw my hand. Come on, come on, come on. I, I draw this Explorer, so y'all can see. And it's not a land. What is going on? Uh, with the Landfall deck. Uh, let's see um well i need to go ahead and get another flyer out so i'm gonna go do that another um, flyer who needs flyers and you oh, got i did need to do some reach. cleanup i'm gonna throw an island into the grave i just realized this is not a filter this is a tap one add one mana of any color i think i cheated at some point because this is not giving me extra mana it's this fine. is they're all new oh, cards. So oh yeah this brand new card yeah no, it's okay. okay. Well, that's probably why it doesn't play tapped, yeah. Yeah. Y'all uh, hear Joe Johnson cheats? No. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Known <I'm> outlaw. <laughs> Known outlaw. All right. Well, that that changes kind of everything. Um, let's go ahead and tap two, and then I will attempt to explore. 
So I will <laughs> draw a card. I'm going to play additional land. Huh. Hey, there we go. So I effectively have four mana. But then I play this land. And that's five. That's a swift foot boot. Um, let's go ahead and tap out. This is five. And I'll play this nesting dragon, which is what I was originally going to play, but I realized I did not read my cards right. My bad. Uh, okay. New decks, pre cons, whatever. Um, <laughs> so nesting dragon landfall enters uh, whenever I play a land, I create a zero one uh, egg. And then uh, when the egg dies, it turns into a 2-2 dragon with fire breathing. Um, man, I'm like hesitant to like <laughs> just swing. Uh, There's a lot of scary card. stuff. It has a lot of scary stuff. Um, and so especially if I lose my commander, if everyone like gangs up and like blocks, like, oh, I'll just sacrifice the whole board and kill your commander. I'm like, nah, it costs like 10 now. Um, well, it costs <laughs> one less, which is not saying much. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, everyone's incentivized to not swing at you, Dark Pack. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so diabolical. I love it. It's, it's all part it's of the plan. It's amazing. It's such you a You're all killing yourselves over self-interest. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um, how gone yeah. are you? I'm gonna... <laughs> Very. <laughs> You have a lot of, of you have a, a, the most. I feel like damage on board. I feel like I should not swing at all. I feel like it's not in my advantage. If I, that was another land, maybe, but I'm not guaranteed to get another land. So I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Um, I'll untap. Hopefully, I draw another land. Oh, hey, look at that! It is a drug skull summit. That is another land. Ooh. Nice. Uh, so burr, I think. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> I think it's time we introduce another outlaw to the party. Oh. Um, I'm going to actually tap this way. Known Four. outlaws. Here's Wrinkle. <laughs> Master oh, Wrinkle. Let's go. <laughs> He's quite the outlaw. Um, quite the outlaw. <laughs> quite the outlaw. Outlaw before it was even a keyword. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. It, a, and a literal criminal um, on so many levels. So I, I believe I should go to combat at this stage in my game. Um, mm -hmm. So Joe, you're gonna get this little one one that yep. can't block, can't be blocked. Um, Dark Pack, I will send Olivia at you. She's a three three with flying and life link. And Kuro, sure. you're gonna get Wrinkle. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I will take three. Like to block Wrinkle. I will block Wrinkle. Yes. Okay, so I will only get two Olivia triggers and one draw trigger because I hit Joe, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a card, make two treasures. Um, here's a treasure. Here's a second. Okay, I believe I would like to commit another crime. So for oh, three yeah. red mana, Joe, that... Um, that Hydra is very scary. What if it? What if it got plus two, plus two, and can't attack? Yes. Me? No. I did. I oh just, like, no! Or meme when he's coming oh, in from no. Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, whatever it attacks, I make a treasure token. <laughs> I'm All in. right. Beef him up. So since you enchanted Joe's creature, does Joe technically control that enchantment then? No. No. Um, he, no? No. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. You, okay. Like, the, the That's for my own edification. Shows, but the it's under my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's and, just like when um, you. Um, oh, God. Yeah, I play, um, I play you, another no, chance. Okay. I, I, I know exactly how it works. It's mm -hmm. so um, bang. Wrinkle did not do damage. We get no wrinkle. We get no fun wrinkle triggers. I will pass the turn. All right. Untap, upkeep. The last spend goes off. I believe, uh, Dark Pack, you said you have the max hand size, right? Seven? Yes, I'm at seven right now. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that's one spell cast. I will have seven. Uh, that is such a good card. Red mana, <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna get that murmuring mystic. Red's eating good. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Red's, Red's been eating good for a little bit. So when, since Doxai got printed, it, it's been oh. yeah. <laughs> right. oh, yeah. I'm gonna do one, two, three red, and then three blue for a Niv Mizzet Parun. <gasps> Yeah. Uh, this oh is boy. so. This is why you like this deck so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a new miss uh, in it. Yeah, it all makes sense miss now. It out. Uh, second spell that is going to be. Oh, and I also got a treasure from that first spell going off. Jesus. Um. That has everything back on three. Um. Uh. Exile top card. Cool. I'll play this island. Um, and then, we all know what Nibmiz it does, right? Cool. Yeah. I only have two cards in hand, by the way, so I am... I'm not not grinding. Um, so let's do... I'm going to cast Deep Analysis for one, two, and then a blue, because um, got one extra yeah. Electromancer makes it cost one less. Um, mm -hmm. That is spell number three. That is treasure number two. That is bird number two. Jesus. That is niv mizzet trigger. Um, <laughs> I'm going to deal oh one damage to the Selkie. Mm, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, I will draw a card from niv mizzet trigger. That was where the one damage come from. I will then uh, target player draws two cards. I will target myself, committing a crime. Uh, against um, yourself, I will. Yeah, strangely. right. I'm going to draw two cards, and then because I've drawn two cards, I'm going to deal. Let's do two damage to Edric. Mm -hmm. uh, Skyrim okay. Trust. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, getting rid of the incentive program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's done. He's done too much. Um, I will then cast Galvanic Iteration. I'm going to use one of the floating reds to tap the Is It Signet for it. This is spell number four. Um, Galvanic Iteration. When I cast my next instant sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. I may choose new targets for the copy. Um, trigger number three. niv it. Trigger. I will draw a card. I will deal one damage to... You know what? Maybe we'll get there. Uh, how big is that dragon? Uh, it's a 5-4. Oh. Ah, you know what? I think we can draw 4. I will deal 1 damage to that dragon. Wow. You also kill the, the changeling that's... that's oh, listen. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're gonna get there. Don't, 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 uh, don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah. She wants to do dragon stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will crack this island to flashback deep analysis. Oh, shit. Trigger mm. number <laughs> four, spell four, trigger four. I'm going to, you know what? We're going to keep on drawing cards. We'll be fine. Um, trigger. I will draw a card, deal one damage to the dragon. Mm -hmm. I will draw two cards, deal two more damage to the dragon. He did. Um, Hi, Disgusting. I will <laughs> oh, fucking crazy. Pay this final red for a soul ring. Jesus Christ. Spell number that one. <laughs> um, I will. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are this is savage this, with it right now. This is a fucking precon. Mm -hmm. It is a precon. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. think twice. Trigger number five. Oh my god. Uh, Damn. Think twice. Yeah, I will wow. draw a card. Oh, oh this one that's card. um the deep analysis triggered twice, that's right, with the Galvanic yeah. iteration. So yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah. gonna mm. still draw two from that. It was also copied, so that's another trigger there. Um okay, so two more draw. I also have to lose three life for that. What is that? Two, three. Yeah, right. Um, I'll deal. I can't tell you. I don't, I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> I'm gonna deal uh, to the wrinkle. Um, My wrinkle. Yeah. You just say to the wrinkle. To the wrinkle. 
What, just you so, don't just like so discarding knows. cards? That's so strange. Just to put the fear of God in him. <laughs> yeah. Um, think twice. And then to kill him probably message. soon. I did that draw. I will draw from think twice. I'll do one more damage to the rank of dank. Um, no. And now he'll and... meet God. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, this is pretty wild. Um, I will... Uh, How many spells are you at? Three... A seven? Four, five... That's what it looks Somewhere around like. there. Uh, yeah, we're on seven spells so far. <laughs> um, one... Disgusting. Two, three... Four, five... Six... Seven, eight. I'm going to Treasure Cruise. Oh my god. god. Which I will double with my commander. Oh no. no. Oh yeah. No. No. Oh yeah. Oh, the crimes. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, and actually, that costs one less. So that's actually one less treasure oh, I got to crack. Oh my god. Um. I was wondering why you were so ham about that. this deck. <laughs> <laughs> Nimbus, it's really I'm gonna good deal. This is the coolest deck ever. <laughs> <laughs> one damage to Dark Pack's face. Oh, that's what I get for mouthing off. Uh, <laughs> um, Nib Mizzet, draw uh, Treasure Cruise, the first one. Draw three. I will do three more damage to Dark Pack's face. Oh! Gotta bring it down. Copy goes. I will draw three. Uh, three more damage to Dark Pact. Um, simply because we are we are out here. Oh yeah, um, we're beefing now. We're <laughs> USDA right now. <laughs> um, A5 Wagyu grade beef. Yes. Tap two for this. And we're going to, you know, we're just, we're just, we're just killing it. We're killing it over here. Show but, you know, me, show I think me I'm gonna card. Actually, Where's it at? I, you know, I... I actually don't know where it is. I don't even know if there is one. Um, there is one. It's really good. Oh, should I keep digging for it? <laughs> Probably. Well, it's five um, mana, but you you have the things. I do have the things. Uh, you know, we'll keep digging for it for the content, right? Um, the content. Yeah. Kaza, Royal Kaza. Chaser. Spell number Jeez. two. Um, what? We're going to Radical Idea... Uh, one damage to Joe. I will take it. Uh, another damage to Dark Pact. Oh, the beef is on. Oh. Um, I will discard the land to cast that again. Uh, the treasure gain loss. That's two more triggers here. Yeah, this precon is pre Um, one more to Joe. Yep. Oh! Did you get there? Did you get there? Did you get there? Oh! Jeebus! Ooh! Oh! Those are a oh! Lot of oh! Oh no! Oh yes! Okay. <laughs> wow. Um. Yeah, the most that's most confusing climax I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's wild um okay how can i produce this mana here to do that well you, you have kaza and you have five mana correct you also play in one things one less that is yeah. all that's true true don't remind I mean, him joe <laughs> <laughs> one more mana Next instance sorcery cause one less, huh? Well, you have three wizards. I oh Where's my god, Niv three wizard. Less. That is very true. Four, four, because Niv is a wizard. Yeah. Right. But there's no way to produce literally one more mana. Mm. How much mana do you need? Right. Um, literally one. And it would actually be the coolest thing you've ever seen. Um. Tragic. This is already the coolest thing. Yeah. <laughs> nice. How can we get there? 
we can so it's re your total reduction is five right now and you have five mana you're st you're telling me you need one more mana still flash this back i can cast that spell get one and then get one. Oh, i know exactly what you're gonna cast oh my god yes please do <laughs> we're trying we're trying to get there it'll be really funny um and then we're all fucked uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, I've, I was aware of that probably 10 minutes ago. <laughs> One, two. Galvanic iteration. So the next thing I do is copied. Yeah, I don't think that gets me there. Hmm. Hmm. Um... Niv Mizzet, draw, uh, one to Joe. Did you make your um, treasure from I Stormtail just now? I will make the treasure. Okay. One for Faithless go down. I cast it and it's copied, go to five. Wait, do you have your mana now? You started. Or no, you were started. Where okay. I started. Yeah. Uh, uh, one to Joe. And then draw two, discard two lands to do two damage to Dark Pact. Okay. Um, and yeah, we are in the exact same position. Uh, we have moved the needle zero percent. Um, <laughs> but just to show what would have been the coolest thing you've ever seen. Um, wow, that's so sad. But it's fair. Um, I will simply end the turn because okay. this oh. is already more than enough. I, I literally can't do more, sadly. Um... Tragic. I will yeah. play this gutter snipe. Uh, okay. Yeah, and draw a card. Pass. You do have 22 damage in the air, so that's a thing. That Ooh, is. Just yeah. in Burton. None of it gives me a treasure, though. That would have been the funniest thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of bird in the air. Uh... Okay. So if I can get rid of one creature, probably Niv is the best choice, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Probably. I'm gonna discard a bunch of lands yeah. and winning those. Yeah, we're we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna putrefy Niv. I will You've committed a crime. You have, have committed a crime. I will draw I a card because of that. Yep. Um I'll do one damage to Joe. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to be quiet too. I was like, Man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I uh, Nip Visit will die. Okay. This is also exiled forever. Um and what do I do here? I'm getting no lands. Oh. Right? No, no, sorry, that's a property. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh yeah. Okay. He do be dead. Okay. Cool. That's great. Um Next, we are going to the Trigon, Predator, and Auron. Eh, screw it. We might as well send everything. You got enough damage in the air over there. Yeah, we're going to send everything your way, Kuro. Yes, All that has I... Death Touch. Yep. So that's uh, one, uh, two, three, three of Death Touch, a five, five of Death Touch, a two, six with Death Touch, and a three, four flying Death Toucher. I will block four of them with these one one birds. Okay. Oh, I thought they were two two. Those. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, from murmuring mystic, no, they're just one ones. Okay. okay. I was like, yeah. All right, bringing down the birds at least. Okay. My, cool. My army. Um. A little less. Then... Scary. It's still real scary. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Do I leave the mana off? That's a real question. Probably should. Yeah, that's the responsible thing to do. Okay, Joe, go right ahead. <laughs> All right. Man, yep. for uh, for what? Don't worry about strange. it. That's very strange. 
we yeah. should make a lane drop. I think that would be good. I'm going to draw these boots with the fur. Uh, and that's not a lane drop. That is a, a exile all creatures, which doesn't help me any at this point. Um, <laughs> so I am going to, okay, I'm going to try something. This could be real bad. All right. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to tap it for Escape to the Wilds. So, <clears throat> Exile the top five cards of your library. You may play uh, Exile cards this way until your next turn. And you may play an additional land this turn. So, the we're gonna amazing do card. One, yeah. two, hey. Three, hey. Four, oh, let's go. Five. And then we'll reveal um, that on top. That's cool with me. Um, you know, that, that would have been so nice for my dragon to see. Uh, too mm -hmm. bad you cannot see that. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna play this off top for my first land for turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Goldwinder. It's Goldwinder. All right. All Very right. cool. Right. Right. Um, then we're gonna play my second land for turn from the Oracle. And then this set, I can play an additional land this turn, so I will play another land. That was the one. Oh, right, because Oracle lets you play one off the top as well. Yeah. Like an yeah, additional. Yeah. Well, board. Oracle just let, lets me play an additional and then off the top, too. Yeah, that's the yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. Nice. We're coming back. I um, said this guy costs eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we're going to tap for three because it can keep the ramp going. I'll play a uh, chromatic lantern. Mm hmm. And I got I'm working one, two, three, four. Not as tap for anything. Earlier I couldn't, but now I can. What's in my graveyard? Let me see real quick. Do, 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 do. Huh. Let's go for a Yeah, why not? I'll tap three for Salvin's Reclamation. Get something three or less for my graveyard to play. It'll be sure this arcane signet. Why not ramp it up? What am I hey, ramping uh, for? I wonder hey, why. Um, yeah, that was I was like, you, imagine if the dragon would have stuck around. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Dreams. They don't always come true. <laughs> <laughs> let right. just let it be known that Niv Mizzet, uh does crimes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> doing well, crimes this entire time. Literally, yeah. It's He's actually for, never stopped. Uh, for boots, boots, but we can't play them right now. That's okay. Uh, I have to swing with this thing. That's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Right, there's a real good target over there. Yep. I mean, this is going to yeah. get shot by a 1-1, one, one, which is tragic. Yeah. Four yeah, kills by one less of one them. Of the... eight creatures. I'm cool with that. Um, yeah, so Kuro, we're sending an 8-8 eight, eight at you. Yep. I will make uh, a treasure. A treasure. Uh, it's just an 8-8? Eight, eight. Uh, no, just trample an eight. no, no, no trample. Yeah. Anything. Wild that oh. Genesis Hydra is one of the few without trample. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I uh, will give it a little blocky poo. Yeah. That's what I should probably swing more. Eh, whatever. I already swung. I was going to say, I should probably swing with that. I mean, if you more. want to swing it more, that's fine. Uh, Sure, why not? I'll swing with my commander as well. 6-6. Six, 6-6. Six. Six, six. And then uh, I'll kind of... I suppose I will have to block 6-6. Six. 6 is yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'll have this desert go... And I'll make oh, yeah, another you know, plant time. boy. Draw a card. Reveal. New card. Uh, Eccentric Farmer. When here's Battlefield Mill 3, then you may return a lane card from your battlefield to your hand. Cool. Oh, all right. Uh, so I'll get another one of these you guys. You need a Stormtrooper. And then, yeah, exactly. Uh, that will end my watch. Get a lot on that turn. Yay! Yeah. Final landfall stuff. Untap. Draw. Yeah, a lot of landfall, land, sack, lands, stuff. Land, land, land. Oh, land, land, land. Sun home. Fortress of the Legion. Uh, okay. I don't... I really want to play this card, but I don't think 
I think it would have been appropriate like four turns ago and not now. It's um, probably not the right move, but you know, live your life, not. live your truth. Um, <laughs> you know, I could make this game go by a lot faster. <laughs> That's oh, also good. I mean, yeah. that, that, mm -hmm. live, live that How life. do you claim? Two, four, five. I'd like to play this Dire Fleet Ravager. <laughs> um, ETB, we're each going to lose a third of our life rounded up. Let's oh. go! All right, let's, let's see what that math is. Uh, yeah. Oh. But, no, we all have the yes, same math. We literally you all, all have math. the same math. Yeah, we do. It's rounded up. All right. It's rounded up. So, so ten, we're going to lose 10. This is why I made all of us have yeah. the same life total. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that would math. be 10. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. No. All right. Or, yeah, we're at, um... You'll be at, like, 19, then, Kuro, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it's... Yeah. Oh, half yeah. rounded up. Well, no, you're 15. A third. A third no, 15 times up. 2 is 30, third. so... A third. Oh, a third. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, my bad. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm at... You're good. My bad. It is a third. Uh, yeah, be signed for... <laughs> this is hilarious. That's funny. This I love it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so we might as well, um... Start That's trying nice to get rid of some of those, uh, some of the those birds. birds. Um, yeah. I'll move to combat. Um, uh -huh. Vi Vihan will trigger my treasure is now a 3 3 construct. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so he got it last turn, turn, too. That's so, so you good. Able to... uh, I'm sure he doesn't have a have token, a right? Because they just become 3-3s. Three yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it would have been cool if they did. I would, I um, do want to see anyways. what a 3 3 golem treasure looks like. Yeah, right. Um, Okay, so going at you, Kuro, will be this treasure, Olivia, Vihan, and uh, this charred uh, grave grave robber, which is a 3 1. Well, this doesn't have. Uh, this has vigilance. Is the 1 1 unblockable and coming at you too? Yeah. The 1 the 1 unblockable is. Um, yeah, it should probably go at you too. You're, you're yeah. right. It should probably go at you. Yeah, um, I'll block um, Olivia and mm -hmm. the treasure. Okay. Has that ever and... been said in a game of Magic? I'm, I'm going to block the treasure. treasure. Block the treasure. <laughs> I think that is a new sentence, yeah. Um, and that new weird creepy guy. This... Okay, um... so this guy will die. He's only a 3-1. Oh wow, okay. Um I and then I guess I'll block the secondary commander. And I okay. will take the one one unblockable. You take, so you will take a damage. I'll gain mm -hmm. three. One, two, three. I'll make another treasure. See, we're all at eighteen. And I'll draw. Solidarity. Eight. So much yeah. for that. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. Drawers. Drawers. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I think do I want to use my treasures for anything? Oh, I could have swung the Dire Fleet, too. Oh, oh that is? It's okay. Yeah, uh, the the secondary gives it haste, because it, oh, he's not only a pirate, but a wizard. Oh, warlock is still a warlock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he's a pirate. Yeah. Imagine okay. if you were, like, um, double outlaw. Does that trigger twice? That'd be so funny. That'd be very cool. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't think I, I think I'm gonna leave my treasures up to be potential attackers next turn. I'll pass turn. Okay. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Uh, goes to two. I will draw. Okie dokie. What do we got going on here? All right. Um. Kind of really wanted to do the thing that I wanted to do. Because it would have been very funny, and it would have actually made us see even more of this game than uh than we would have otherwise. But we're going to so one two one two three four five six four six. We're going to cast Shark Typhoon. Ooh. That's a Remind me of that. Uh, that's the enchantment that says whenever I cast a yeah. non-creature spell, I make a Sky Shark. An XX Sky Shark. 
Uh, uh one second. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, yeah. Are we seeing our first counter spell of the game? <laughs> and it's not from me at all. I don't know. What's that was that wasn't the thing that you wanted to do last turn, right? No, no. 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 Okay. I, I can't do it this turn to any yeah, good effect won't. anyway. It won't it won't happen because oh, all right. so it was the storm card. You did get to it. I got the storm card and I was gonna chaos warp. Which would have been like super random for everyone. Which would have kind that of been would fun, have. But, yeah. I will I will respond to the um the shark typhoon. I'm gonna plasm mm -hmm. capture it. Oh, oh, oh very that's cool. Hot. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. So I'm gonna make six mana. Yeah, six mana. My yeah, that's okay. sick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Boop. Okay, that's huge. Very cool. Um. Yeah, six mana is a lot. It is. Um, Good time. Good time. Okay. I'm gonna play a command tower. Okay, that is technically this. That is the second spell in the turn cast, but blah blah blah. Um, all right. So then, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that is exactly this mana, which is not ideal. But it's what we got. All right. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. I'm going to tap an island to cast Preordain. Mm -hmm. um, that is spell number two. That is treasure trigger, bird trigger. Uh, I'm going to scry two. Um, I am not going to windfall. I don't think any of us need any of that. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to draw a card. All right. Um, then I am going to, so one, two, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll tap, uh, Kaza Royal Chaser for nine, ten. I am going to finale of revelation for Man, 10. I should save that plasm catch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh. Finale of revelation for 10. Um, oh and since yeah. that is spell number three, I'm going to copy it. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. One oh, yeah. <laughs> So basically restart your turn. Yeah. Uh, cast trigger, and then copy then trigger. trigger. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna do ten. If it's ten or more, instead shuffle my. Oh, frickle fraggle. Okay. Um, kind of didn't expect the shuffle into the graveyard part. If you wouldn't mind explaining to me what a friggle and a fraggle are. Uh, it's like a rootin and a tootin. Yep. Oh. But is when a, when a friggle and a fraggle love each other very much, <laughs> <laughs> when they get loop, no. I don't know how that you know. I just they they both make a fibble tip. Oh, yeah. true. There you go. <laughs> fibble tip parents, friggle and fraggle. You heard it here first. Jeez. So long, we cannot find his parents. That's All the right, reason. So why. draw X cards and uh, so then uh, draw X. Untap five lands. I have no max hand size for the rest of the game. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Untap. One, two, three, four, five. And then this exiles itself, thankfully. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. I'll float like a blue. Yeah, and then I'll have that. Um, that is three spells this turn. Um, um, how tapped is everybody? No one's um, full tapped except for Dark Pact. I got a blue. Oh Chloe's the most have, threatening thing in all of Magic rack. the Gathering. Well, I, have, I have three mana. Oh god, everyone is so vigilant. Oh, because of the guy. Okay, I'm like, dang, Chloe. Because of the guy. Yeah, the Sorry. guy. Wow, okay, that's a good commander. Um mm -hmm. Okay, well. In that 
case. Um, let's see. Okay, these are the lands in my hand. We're just going to ignore these. Um, oh, uh, two damage to everyone. All right. Yes, it's literally just just <laughs> just got a snipe trigger. Um. Let's. Oh. Question is, can you cast nineteen damage worth of spells this turn? Um, no. So I wouldn't put it past me. I fair. Um. <laughs> let's. What do we do here? I'm going to cast Pongify. That's a couple triggers. Um, yes. Two damage to everyone. I will cast Pongify targeting, um, the gold maker. Uh, Olivia. Olivia level Darren. Or, uh, My uh, commander. Opulent. Yeah. Right. Let's see what's at the top. After you shuffle. Two more damage to everyone. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Or spell trigger. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I knew I should have girl last turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Uh, uh, oh, that would have been real scary. Cost to cast this, but oh wait, it has an incident, so I can't. It has to be a permanent, right? Yeah. Or criminal, yeah. So it's it's a thing that says. <clears throat> as initial cost to cast a spell, discard a card, draw two cards, flashback. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, okay. Um, I will play Opt. Two more damage. Another thing. Another thing. Uh, scry. Draw. Um, no. I don't have, like, a lightning bolt or something. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cast a secondary commander, Eris, Roar of the Storm. Nice. Oh, what she do? Can. Um, they say they cost two less to cast for each uh, different... Oh, each different value. Uh, two more treasures. Each different value of instance of sorceries in the graveyard. Um, it has flying prowess, and whenever I cast my second spell each turn, I make a 4-4... Four, four, Dragon elemental creature token with flying and prowess. Um, great, that's not horrifying. No, those are fine cards. We love those cards. Um, I will pass the turn after that. We lived, um, <laughs> I, I suppose oh we God. did, didn't we? Yeah, uh, but at yeah. What cost? I think the deck actually gets there from uh, Gutter Snipes. Wait, you got and the, you got like a bunch of the flyers that can swing too, right? Uh, yeah. well, yes. Uh, well, I, they have to survive until next turn, though. No. Oh, what you got? I, only one got the, I, I had one left. Oh, gotcha. Okay. After all, after like all of last turn. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So if you wouldn't have swung, you probably could have taken one of us out. <laughs> or if you uh, wouldn't have yes. blocked. Yeah, yeah. If I just I mean, like, you'd be at a dangerous life total, but yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have a board wipe, but I don't know if it's even worth it at this point. <laughs> it's an annoying I mean, I, one too. I, I it's like a non like, like yeah. 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 I'm not because like I don't know if I could even close it out with it. That's the main thing. Right. I only mm -hmm. do board wipes if I can win with them afterwards exactly. and do crazy Same. things. Yeah. Same. Um <sighs> Okay, so I have like six additional mana here. What what crazy things can I do? Um I guess I could Cast some of the stuff in exile here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll use the six mana from the Pasm Capture to play Angel of Ruins. Yeah, you do have six mana floating. That is pretty cool. That is very nice. Uh, when it enters, uh, exile two target artifacts or enchantments. So I'm probably going to hit... <sighs> What's more problematic? You having treasures or you having rocks later? Um... Uh, I guess the less treasures are, 
if you're able to kill oh exile something um yeah i'm probably gonna get rid of your two treasures so you have less responses potentially that is super fair actually yeah that's actually yeah i'll get rid of two of your treasures this. then yeah that's really good um i don't think i can do anything about that um Um, four, five, I'll crack all of them. Okay. So three, four, five, six, seven, reduction by eight. This mm -hmm. should be on time. Um, dig through time. Um, Great. I'm so happy Nivmus isn't here anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah me too. Yeah. It's probably been a much faster game. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, this is the storm card. I see. Yeah. You see it now? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you're right. Um, I'll do one and two. One to the bottom. Just throwing dollars out here. here. Now we betting. Uh, two dam <laughs> two damage to everyone. Oh, it's money. Dex pure yeah. money. That's what's happening. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Two damage all. Yeah. Okay. That is that resolves. Another two damage. Okay. Yeah. Boom boom. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Um, then I'm going to. Just what am I gonna do here? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So we'll move to combat. We still have all those birds. Mm -hmm. Jeez. On it. Man. Yeah, I guess I can get rid of some of them, right? Yeah. We'll swing all the things at you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Hey, I gotta basically probably be like, yeah, I can take some damage here. Um, um i am going to crack a treasure mm -hmm. spell reduced by one i'm going to cast think twice mm -hmm. All right, um two. that is my second spell this turn mm -hmm. so i'm gonna exile per my commander mm -hmm. i'm going to draw a card and then i'm gonna make a four four dragon elemental and then also another bird Oh my there's, another, God. So, there's another two, right? Uh, yes, and then another two to everyone. So how much damage are we taking this turn? Uh, four total. Only four? I thought we, I thought that was six. Yeah, right there's there. only two spells I've, this I've turn only so cast far from him. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, you just said yeah. I, I cast think twice. No, no. Well, the coward think twice. Yeah, that's a instant of sorcery, right? Yeah. So we lose yeah, two so, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're taking four damage total this this turn. So far. It's more damage than the other guy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. He's a 5-5? Five five? Why? Okay, he is yeah. a 5-5. Five five, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll block the Trigon fun? and Gonti, and I'll take the snake and the guy. The partner man. Okay. So then, uh, yeah, then Kazor oh. will hit through. So then that's two draws for me. Okay. And they got their 1-1 one, one counters. Great. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and we will tap two for an arcane signet. Then we're going to tap the arcane signet and two more for a thieving skydiver. That's a kicker of one. So when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, gain control of target artifact, mana value X or less. Uh, if that artifact's an equipment, attach it to Thieving Skydiver. I'm just going to take your soul ring, yeah. Yep. And <laughs> would you like to uh, get it from your cards? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. I'll, I'll grab it in a minute here. I'm just going to finish out my turn so we can get this mm -hmm. through here. Um, then we got five more left. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll tap another five for a Dazzling Sphinx. It's a four five flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile instant or sorcery spell. You may cast that spell without paying its mana cost. And then the player, uh, when that player puts the X, 
or oh my god, that then that player puts all XL cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of their library in a random order. Okay. Very good. Um, oh, and I did get a Gaunty trigger too. Oh my gosh, I forgot about oh, that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, exile yeah. the top of your deck, Karo. Uh, twice, right? You got two of my cards. You hit me. Uh, just it only triggers once for you. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Any uh, pre creature. Preordain. Cool. Yep. Gotcha. Let's try to draw a card. Gotcha. No, it's two more damage. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, that oh, wasn't cast. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that'll be it for me. You can go right ahead, Joe. Oh wow. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what we can do. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting turn because it's my last turn, probably. <laughs> uh, I'm just leaving this uh, revealed because that was revealed off of the Chaos Warp, and I will draw that card. Um, let's see. I can still play this because that lasts until your next turn, right? Just double check. Until the end of your next turn. Yeah. So I can play this for my land for turn. Again, I could exile all things, but that's not going to... That won't get me there. I mean, <laughs> or will it create a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah, nah, I'm good. Um, I'm just going to leave this in the, in the exile file. Uh, let's see. Okay. So first off, I'm going to tap for three and cast this Skull Finder. And I will pick Chloe, you and I. Uh, Ooh, you okay. Can, you can get a card in your graveyard and put it into your hand. Okay. I will get... Any card? Any card in your graveyard. Oh, wait. Why did I think Genocide was in my graveyard? Oh, well, whatever. Um... Yeah, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I'll just get... Ah, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, whatever, I'll get the nested value. That's fine. Ah, uh, man. That, that... Ruined my plans. Alright, well, now we're gonna have to do this stuff. So, we'll tap three. We'll cast the Electric Revelation as a additional cross the cast card, discard a card. I'll discard this world shaper. Uh, and then I draw two cards. One, two. Um, play this. I already played my land for turn, right? Yeah, I don't have an additional land anymore. Woo! Okay, and then I will tap, well, I can tap for anything. So I'll tap this for uh, Magmatic Insight. Uh, additional cost to cast the spell, discard a land card, draw two cards. I will discard this desert. And I'll make another boy. Mm -hmm. And I'll draw two. Okay. What do these do? Oh, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, did you discard any deserts when you did that? I did. I did. That's why I made another... Do yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. so cool. Really cool. That, uh, I think he was necessary. cool. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, gotta figure oh. out what deserts aren't in the deck already. Three, four, five, six. I can get in there. So let's let's try what we can do. I don't have any flyers, but. I do have some ways around it. So we're gonna do uh how, how big is the biggest flyer out right now? I have a four like four anywhere dragon with prowess. Yes, yeah, anywhere. I have a five seven. Yes. Five seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh one one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm gonna tap this for five. And I'm going to cast Heaven for five. Uh, heaven deals X damage to each creature with flying. Oh! Ooh. I'm going to do five damage to each creature with flying. Ooh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like that's rid of. I do have a response to that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Um, simply because that would. Ruin you? Lead to my <laughs> death. Yep. Uh, there is one counter spell in this entire deck, and I happen to have drawn it. <laughs> Wait, That's really? Cool. In a blue deck? 
Come on, yeah. Foxy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will crack the treasure for an arcane denial. It is reduced oh, by one. That's a really good one. That's a, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. That's the time to cast it. And then, and then two we all damage to two. everyone. Oh, boy. I, mean, I was trying to... Was trying I'm not to feeling too good, Mr. Stark. Oh, 100%. <laughs> the, I only just drew it um, when I did the Think Twice. I actually did Damn. not have it for the entire game until now. Oh. Yeah. Well, Horrid. Uh, sun's going down, sun's getting true. real low. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's really no point swinging at you because there's just too much. There's too much. Um, I mean, you could force them to get rid of some of their flyers at least. Yeah, and your but... hatred is goaded. It is goaded. Go with the go, sauce. Um, yeah. I'm just saying for my, eh, you know what, whatever. Gotcha. Uh, there you go, Kuro. Here's some stuff. Uh, yeah. And then I will sacrifice a desert. Something that can not come back in tapped. Nope. Yeah, here we go. I'll sacrifice this Ravenap Ruins. Uh, and that will make another boy. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a card. That would have been fun. Uh, but I'm tapped out. Yeah. So you got uh, a... 8-8 eight, eight and a 6-6 six, six coming at you. 8-8 eight, eight and a 6-6. Six, six. All right. I will double block those two. And then they will die? Uh, Yeah, my my one ones, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. I thought you meant double block both of these. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll do one there and one one there. Yeah. Got it, got it. All right, so one and one. Boom. No trample. Um, Yeah, that's it for me. Uh, end of your turn um i'm gonna reduce the next spell i cast by two wizards i'll crack the treasure to flashback think twice Oop. uh two more damage another bird and another dragon okay okay okay, <laughs> okay. living on the edge <laughs> mood <laughs> untapped <laughs> I'll draw. Um... Oh, Dark, we took one more. Uh... Or two more. Oh, two more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll play this mountain. I'll tap for two and get the card Joe so nicely put back in my hand. Um, I'll deadly dispute the changeling outcast once more. Nice. <laughs> I'll make a treasure. And I will draw two cards. The greatest hits. <laughs> um, and then mana value. And I just so happened to have put a one mana value outlaw huh. in my graveyard. I will encore the changeling outcast. Yeah. <laughs> she turns That's again. <laughs> 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 um i will get uh three of them in total one for each of you they must swing this turn and i will go to combat yep. um so you'll each get a changeling outcast uh kuro you will get everything else yeah yeah My yeah dear. yeah fortunately this frog is a, a uh Outlaw, so it will not have vigilance, but you will have four three threes, a four four, a four four menace death touch, and a one one. And what's in oh, just gray water three, three. fixer? Okay, gray water fixer. Yeah, and then all of the all but one of the treasures, oh. right? No, you get everything oh. except for um the chain the two that came. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, the other two okay. changeling outcasts that are going to Ooh, Dark Pack okay. and Joseph. Yeah. And that's All unblockable, right. right? Correct. The changelings. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. They're just little one ones. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Yeah. I will. How you doing over there, Joe? <laughs> oh, sun's going down. Sun's getting real blocked. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have four. Uh, you have a total of five three threes, a four four, and a a four four with death touch and menace, and another three three. So six three threes. I will take. Dark, I think we're both at one because you did you miss the 
the uh, gutter stein trigger. Oh, yeah, I did. We were at yeah. the same yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll block three of them, three, six, nine, and I'll take the other Howdy. three. Okay, and that's just from the three threes? Yeah. And is that all with one ones? Yes. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Living on the edge there. Um, we're we're edging. Maybe the next instep. Okay. Oh, Lord. Um, don't really have much else to do. <sighs> we're dead. Just a couple spells. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah. Unless I have four mana left, it's not enough. Oh, thank God! Why can't I have <laughs> eight mana? <laughs> I was like, did my, did I, did I just? Because I have nothing at instant speed right now. I am, I am just hoping and praying to live right now. Yeah, all I can do is sack four treasures and play this Fane the Broker. Oh, Fane's good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, before, since since he's a Warlock, he has haste. Um, oh, wow. So I will tap him and sack one of my Changeling Outcast to put some counters onto uh, Vihan. Oh. Two. Yeah. Okay. And that will be my turn. Uh kill us if you can. Uh yes, I will I, two, I won't two spells. I, I <laughs> won't Yeah. I won't be weird about it. It's just gonna be uh, a draw. Uh just literally just to show off just one of the newer cards that have come out. Yeah. Um Pyretic Charge. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh, it's five mana, just says discard your hand and draw four cards. For each card discarded this way, mm. creatures you control get plus one O until end of turn. Uh, um, oh. So yeah. for those is it players out there, this is like kind of a, a, if you're making a bunch of tokens that you're blocking with and all this stuff anyway, then here is like one of those cards that you can kind of have in your deck. Um, it also has plot, mm. so you can just put that thing into the oh, corner okay. and focus on your game plan and then all of a sudden you just kind of get there yeah um with pyretic charge so i, I think it's good to have in any of the is it decks that produce then, tokens then you just kind of swing everything at me huh and i just kind of yes. perish yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. all right where's my, where's my darkness <laughs> <laughs> darkness your old friend uh yeah that i mean that that was free cons that was yeah. pre-cons. That was pretty wow. concise, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was um Okay, the, no... the the board wipe I was talking about, it would have been mm -hmm. funny, but it's so annoying. It, Which one is that? On an online game. So you exile all creatures, and for each card exiled this way, you may play that card for as long as it remains exiled and spend mana as lower oh. mana of any type to cast it. And then you exile yeah. the card. But like yeah. how in the hell am I gonna track all of y'all's boards? That right. would have took no, that would have been like a sure. 20 minute turn. And, oh, and even so then, annoying. Dark Pack, just to ask you, like, for, you know, from playing it, it's like, how many of our spells would you have wanted to cast over your own? Like, no, I probably would have just recast you know. my board, to be honest. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. It exiles your board, too. Right. So it's yeah. like, you have yeah. to rebuild anyway. Yeah, yeah that would have been annoying. It's like, you Especially know, other for people's an online decks game. are kind of doing their own thing. Exactly. Um, so it's not necessarily helpful to you. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Joe, your thoughts on Yuma. Uh, you did get to like do deserty things. Yeah. I, I liked it. I, I, I think there is some some definitely some upgrades in here. I, it wants to do like a landfall theme. There's one card in here that's like really cool that it turns all your cards into desert cards. So it's kind of like the... Um, oh, okay. Uh, I forget what I can you, pull, can you pull out that card out? Because that sounds really trap cool. dryad, but I yeah. I, I, when I find it, I'll find it. And yeah. it's like a three mana. Oh yeah, it, boom. Dune 
Dune Chanter. Oh yeah, that's a great card. Yeah, this this is the best card in the deck. It's mm -hmm. a two three reach for three lands you control and land cards you own that aren't on the battlefield are deserts in addition to their other types. And then mm -hmm. lands you control and tap for any color. You can mill two cards, and for each uh, you for each land card you mill this way, you gain one life. So it's like they have to go hand in hand, and also the the other commander in here is really good too. Um, let me go just like take a few little tweaks here and there. Put like a crucible worlds in here. Put like you know some landfall strategy in here. I'll oh, yeah. tweak the land base, get some fetches mm -hmm. in here because it it definitely wants to have that um, Azusa that kind of stuff. So you know a few cards here and there, probably like ten or twelve cards like you know amp it up. But I, I, I thought it did, it did stuff. Yeah. Uh, when you say tweak the land base, right? Because, like, we, you already have many deserts in there. Yeah. And and they do come to play tap. You know, that's just, like, one of their weaknesses. Um, but, like, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're souping up this deck, what would you do with the land base? I mean, I, you're playing three colors, so it's, it's kind of hard to not want to just put in, like, the fetches, put in, like... Even if you're like throwing in like uh, prismatic vista and like you know the other fetches that are just more consistent, uh, just because the landfall triggers, you know, you throw in like a lotus cobra, you throw in like scoot swarm is actually in here, which is kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I would I would think about doing, just like throwing more fetches in there so you get the double the land triggers. Right, and do you th uh, there, there's probably a way to fit that and like all the appropriate deserts, right? Because you because that's still so much of the strategy. Yeah, I mean, I think you definitely want to, like, put in, like, stuff where you can go find that Doom Chanter guy, like, early tutor, survival of the fittest, like, stuff like that in there. Um, even Fauna Shaman's, like, budget survival of the fittest uh, to go get that mm -hmm. card, because the card is so important in this deck. Uh, with him as the as the face commander, and, like, more mana dorks, more ramp. Uh, I only got to see a couple things with ramp, but... Overall, I think it's a really good thing, really good card. I, I I would probably put in either some trample or like something like all your creatures have trample, like Nalea or mm -hmm. some kind of enchantment, like some kind of global enchantment that just sits out there and says, hey, all your dudes have trample, go forth. Because uh, right. he's already a 6-6. Six, six. So yeah. mm -hmm. you find a way to beef him mm -hmm. up at, at any point. You're like, cool, take six, take six, take six, you're dead. Already, already a six six. That no one's kind of like targeting per se. Like he's not no. flashy abilities. Um, but mm, I mean, once people kind of realize that there's an army of four two with reach, which is basically yep. like unblock. Like just no one's no no flyers are touching you no. at all. Yeah, um, for each land too. So it's like yeah, you have a turn where you're like, oh, that card was like there's a card in there that says mill five cards. Uh, if, if you mill five car, fill five lands, you don't feel bad because you're like, well, I didn't draw five lands, and now I got five four twos with reach. Oh, it's mm -hmm. not one or more. That's huge, no. actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that that would be an equivalent style turn to like what is it was doing, where it's just like, oh, mill five, oh, five deserts, boom, here you yeah. go. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty big. All right. Yeah. So okay. So that's how Yuma Protector uh, would kind of pop off so if you kind of get if you end up in that position uh chat when you're playing this deck definitely uh know that this is what it's like to be at full power um with the yuma fraud protector uh thank you very much joe for for playing the deck and giving us yeah. your thoughts on it yeah okay. uh chloe yes my dear fine. how did you feel about um, the olivia outlaw deck it's i like this deck quite a lot um i would didn't really draw any of these white cards ever which made me a little sad because there's a lot of cool ones in here like mirror entity is really really strong in this deck um and angelic cell sword this new card from otj is really strong and i would have liked to have drawn them but um i did not but otherwise i think this deck is really cool um I think it's a fun take on Typel, where it's Typel, but the Typel consists of like four or five different creature types. I think that's so neat. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the Angelic Cell Sword do? Uh, so it has it's a four four with flying and vigilance. Uh, whenever it or another non tinker non tinker creature enters the battlefield uh, under your control, you make a one one red mercenary with tap target creature gets plus one plus zero until the end of turn as a sorcery. When it attacks, if its power is six or greater, you draw a card. 
Okay, right. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I think it's really strong. Time. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. with Olivia, you're making you know tokens yeah. that would trigger your outlaw abilities on top of yeah. making Olivia hit harder so you can gain more life and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty sweet. And then what's that black card on the right of Olivia? This one, uh, back in town, this is a reanimation thing specifically for outlaws. It's X2-3, or 2 bl black. Um, sorcery return X target outlaw creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> I think that's very that's cool really as good. a reanimator girly. Yeah, that's a yeah. really cool card. Yeah. Wow, wait, X2 black. So just, okay, so three yeah. mana and then everything higher three than it is X. just a yeah. full yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. X plus three, yeah. yeah. Oh. It's so good. Okay, that's, that's yeah. really good. Really good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> okay. It's like Crypt of so Agadim without the downside, yeah. honestly. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not, and it's not even like I XX. Can't. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait to upgrade this. I'm gonna throw my Acromas Memorial in here and just make it real gross when I get all the outlaw stuff going. Oh, Ooh, yes. Be very fun. All right. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be sweet, and and I think people are gonna be surprised mm -hmm. to see what cards are outlaws because like Bri uh, Brina there oh, yeah. is a warlock. Brina is a warlock. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that just ends up being uh, real powerful uh, over over the course yeah. of a uh, game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Chloe, for playing. I appreciate it. Uh, and, and for giving us your thoughts on the Olivia Opulent Outlaw deck. Uh, and then, of course, over to Dark Pack Cosplay. Uh, Yo. Who, I mean, are you building a, a Gonti cosplay? <laughs> oh, uh, God, no. Like you see oh, all the God. detail on that? Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not unless Wizards of the Coast is paying for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a fun deck though. This is a pretty good time. Um, it has a lot of pieces in it that like focus on exile that I like run in my, um, my Umbris deck where it really mostly focuses on just mm. exiling, but this like takes things from exile from your opponents. So I really, really enjoy that brain stealer dragon oblivion sour are some of my favorite cards. You have mind violation in here. That's oh. crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously you're trying to like make Gonti's ability go off a bunch throughout the game. So you get that value of like constantly getting something off the top of your opponent. So you need some really good evasion in your deck. One of my favorite commons that they put in here, I'm glad that they did, is like the Triton Shore Stalker. It's just unblockable. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit more of that in here might be good. Um, there's a lot of really good like uh, when it atta or attacks triggers or uh, damage triggers that are pretty good. You just want to keep generating like value each time that you're doing this so you make sure you have the resources at the in your second main to really take advantage of everything you're taking from your opponents of course you got to have villainous wealth in there that's a great time mm. the secondary commander is pretty fun too i just the, the flex and five boots that's so funny <laughs> what's the does, creatures uh, you can do? Yeah, yeah. With creatures you control, deal in combat damage to a player causes triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger. The ability triggers an additional time, so that's really good with Gonti, obviously. Attack so Harmonicon? That... Oh my yeah. god. Attack or, Harmonicon. Or deal damage Harmonicon, because, like, Ishin yeah. is the attack Harmonicon, this is yeah. on it. Playing a deck yeah. like this, you're going to generate a lot of hate, too. So I feel like having things yeah. like Edric in there and even like a cunning rhetoric. I know we were talking about like a propaganda or something that might even be good to add in here, too, because you want to make mm -hmm. sure that like you're going to be swinging out a lot with this deck to get that value off of Gonti and you're going to be open or they're just going to be easy attacks on you. You're going to want to make attacking mm -hmm. you not as great. Um, I love this card, the Arcane Heist. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to play it, too. Um, it's just you may cast target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost, and then you exile that card once you're done casting it, but you cypher it. I oh, love cypher. Cypher is such a cool mechanic. I have one yeah. of my favorite mechanics ever. Yeah, they need to do more cypher cards. They're really, really fun, especially playing against your deck curl. That'd be so fun. Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. <laughs> Yeah, Cypher is fantastic. Yeah. I, I there, there's just a lot of really cool stuff in here. This is a great base to work off of. Definitely a lot yeah. of room to go different directions with it, too. I love things that aren't just, mm -hmm. like, hyper-focused on, like, going... Like, there's a lot of synergy here, but you can take it in multiple directions. It, it's a really nice deck that they put together here. Yeah, one thing that you mentioned um, before, um, like, it has cards that manipulate 
things being exiled. Not specifically that you're casting everything that you yeah. exile, but you, you know, do, like, Eldrazi shenanigans. Is that something mm -hmm. that you, like, feel might be maybe a stronger way to take the deck sometimes? Like, if you're not necessarily about steal, 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 because you want to cast mm -hmm. your spells, you don't always want to cast your opponent's spells, but having, like, Oblivion Sower kind of works. Yeah, there's, there's, they also have a cut one other Eldrazi in here, too, that, like, there's this weird ability from one of the Zendikar blocks where you're taking things from exile and, and from your opponent's exile and giving them back to them. Yeah, here we go. It's Void Ingest, Attendant. Yeah. yeah, and you, yeah, you just essentially get value by like essentially taking things out of exile from your opponents and giving them back to them. So a great thing, like if you get things in exile that you don't necessarily need or want from other decks, you can just throw them back and then like, get a little bit of value back too. So that is definitely a direction you could go. That's actually really, really cool. I, I and I'm sure the new all. Modern uh, Horizons 3, oh, right? Yeah, Modern Horizons 3, it's going to have oh, all yeah. those Eldrazi. I bet you they're going to take that true. ability and amp it up another level too. So keep an eye that out actually, for that. That yeah. actually sounds like a more interesting and exciting way to maybe play this. Because, like, you know, especially over Spell mm -hmm. Table, it could be difficult to, you know, cast other people's spells and all that stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. This yeah. is definitely an in-person deck. I was just lucky and literally had the three other exact decks. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it made, it made it a little bit easier, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that yeah, that was really really cool. Uh, thank yeah. you so yeah. very much, uh, Dark Pack. This was this was a, a a good look at uh, each and every one of these decks. I think mm -hmm. we got to see at least like a little bit of a glimpse of what they do. Um, mm -hmm. I know I know that uh, <laughs> there is a deck definitely. We got to see a little bit more. <laughs> we got uh, to see a lot. <laughs> we got to see a lot of the is a deck. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, Kura, uh, Kura Hatsuki here. I would say. Uh, my top kind of like new cards from this set, uh, Stella Lee was really cool. Um, even, even though like at the beginning of the game, I didn't start triggering her, uh, like, you know, exile extra card ability a lot. It definitely kept me going when I only had like one spell left in hand. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, definitely focusing on that like second card per turn is really cool. Um... Pyretic Charge, as I said before, for the Is It Spellsinger decks that are making a bunch of 1 1 goobers to block with, this gives you the ability to very much do that game plan and then also swing out for uh, Epic Victory. Um, Thunderclap Drake, uh, it's another instant of sorcery spell reducer, but I'm also able to pay three and sacrifice it to uh, copy a spell. Um, the When I had five mana, I was going to do the Crackling Spellslinger, brand new card. 5 mana, 2-2 two, two with flash. When it enters the battlefield and you cast it, the next instant of sorcery spell you cast this turn has storm. And then I was going to um, cast, what was it? Uh, a chaos warp. So that oh, we could just yeah. kind of see funny. what random cards people would kind of have at the, yeah. the, the top of their deck there. So that, that would have been an interesting mm -hmm. way to see what the decks do, but quite chaotic. Uh, one Very. mana short. Uh, and then the secondary commander, I, I think they're cool. I, you know, you, you can focus on it if you want. Um, but just having like a guy that ends up making four, four the elemental four is kind of like, that was so devastating towards the end. I was yeah. like, oh, you're going to, you're going to keep making yeah. dragons every, like, and you're casting things on our turns too. It was just, right. yeah, definitely good, better in the 99, but it, like very good in that deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think, I think it'll be fun, uh, to just focus on like that second spell per turn sort of yeah. thing, uh, the Western yeah. theme, you're, you're, you're two six shooters there. Um, so funny. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, is it spell slinger, uh, d dot deck. If, if you've never <laughs> played an, is it spell slinger deck before and you've kind of like wanted to dabble into it, I cannot imagine like a, a literally a more straightforward commander, uh, yeah. than, than Stella Lee. Um, she just, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wants you to keep on casting spells. Um, but yeah, that was, that was basically my review there. Um, thank you again, all of our guests coming out tonight and playing this on a uh, tabletop jocks live. Uh, thank you very much. Wizards of the coast for giving us the opportunity to preview these decks. Um, uh, pretty much right after the kind of everyone got to see what was in the deck list, um, from uh, other content creators. Be sure to go on YouTube. If you type in, you know, Stella Lee, Olivia, Yuma, Ganti, and you want to look at more of these deck lists, uh, you'll, you'll find each content creator who got to preview the deck list themselves. And definitely take a look at those videos so you can actually get like an even deeper deep dive 
uh, than what you saw here. They all this do was really just good like, jobs, yeah. Yeah, th they, they did fantastic mm -hmm. jobs. And thank you very much for coming here so you can actually see a uh, live gameplay preview of it. You'll you'll see more content like that in the coming days. I think, Joe, I think you uh, have okay. something coming. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a nice little surprise for everybody. We, uh, yeah, we'll just stay tuned. How about that? Just uh, yeah. stay around. tuned. Uh, tomorrow, awesome. 11, 11 o'clock in the morning. All <laughs> right. 11 o'clock a.m. Definitely mark yeah. it on your calendars. You'll see the preview right here on Tabletop Jock's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and then if you're uh, following mm -hmm. us on Twitch, uh, be sure to oh, head over to the YouTube channel. Um, and Clear Phyrexia, Dark Pact, uh, Joe, me, thank you very much for coming to watch us. Please do follow us on our socials. You'll see our links uh, in the title of the Twitch and then also on the YouTube chat as well um be sure to give a like and a follow to each of us on our social media platforms because you will see more of our thoughts on these decks um but i am going to figure out where to drop uh, drop the twitch peoples off at but for our youtube friends thank you very much for playing and we will catch y'all in the next one um before we head out uh chloe and dark pack where can we find you we'll start with chloe first you can find me at Queerphyrexia on basically every social media, but YouTube specifically. Okay. Uh, and and yeah, I go by Dark Pack Cosplay on everything, mostly hang out on Twitter and on TikTok as well, too. So check me on there. And uh, Joe, where should people be directing all of their attention to with the Tabletop Jocks? Hey. Let's let's have it at Tabletop Jocks. I mean, that's that's where I'm talking about magic and tabletop gaming and all the stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely hop into Discord. This is technically our Discord Commander Day. Uh, hit, hit up the Patreon. We definitely play games all day. Uh, there's going to be some prizes coming out very soon. We're going to be doing the cookout. A uh, bunch, of, bunch of cool stuff coming up. So, uh, yeah, definitely if you have any interest in coming to the cookout, definitely uh, shoot me a DM. Uh, and if you want to follow my stand-up comedy career and stuff like that, uh, go to at, at Black Neo or my government name on <laughs> IG. Uh, so I'm, I'm all over the place over here. I'm all over the place. Awesome. Hey, listen, we, we want to figure out where you are and follow you whenever you can because we you, you make literally the best uh, Black content on the internet uh, involved in magic gathering. End of yes. sentence. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, period. 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 Uh, but, but truly, thank you very much for providing the community that we're all able to kind of gather and play in. Oh, thank you all for, for coming through and, and for of supporting course. me and, and just being the homies. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, you know, like I said, this is always heartwarming to to know that, you know, you can lean on your friends and yeah, I'm I'm always hyped to, to just kick it with y'all. Thank you so much, friend. All right, um, we are going to go over and raid useless knowledge. They are doing a uh, CDH event, but it's a charity event for the Trevor Project, and we Ooh, we do love yeah. those sort of events. Yeah, uh, so we'll see y'all over there for our YouTube peeps. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we'll uh, keep an eye on the channel tomorrow for for a special surprise. Mm -hmm. All right, have a good night, everyone. Peace.